All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the JX2 antenna mod, which is being made by forum user Snark, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a singular part, and that is a very, very powerful relay antenna, which may not sound all too exciting to you guys right now, but let me tell you, this is probably, in my opinion, one of the most important parts I've seen in a while. And that's because, if you're like me, you may have gotten a bit bored with the standard solar system in this game, and so you download planet packs, and even planet packs that add in entire entirely new star systems into the game. And that is a wonderful, beautiful thing, but it comes with a big problem in the most recent version of Kerbal Space Program. Now that we are required to actually maintain communication with our tracking station here to send data back to it, and especially for probes to have full control, you have to have at least 1% signal, it gets kind of difficult to do that in another star system when your stock communication parts are only meant to go as far as ELO. And that is where this antenna comes in. So let's just jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at it and check out why it is so impressive. So let's grab ourselves a Mark 1-2 command pod and then head down to the communications category where let's take a look first at the most powerful of the stock antennae. Now this is the RA100, which as you can see here has an antenna rating, which is its range of 100G, which stands for gigameter. Now between this and the tracking station bonus, you should be able to reach ELO with a nice buffer zone. And if I actually look over my other monitor here real quick, uh, between this and a fully upgraded tracking station, you should be able to communicate with anything 127 gigameters out into space, which as I said is ELO plus a tiny little bit extra. And you know what, it's a, it's a sensible dish for that amount of power and dealing with just the stock star system. But what if you do want to head further out? What if you say install the outer planet mod whose farthest planet is 689 gigameters away? Well, you're either going to have to build a relay of seven of these satellites to get to that planet, or you can build this, the JX-2 Large Deployable Antenna, and look at the size of this thing, and it is <laughs> impressively large, and I think that that's a good thing, I think it's a very good balancing mechanic, because this thing, rather than transmitting a hundred gigameters, it transmits one terameter, which <laughs> is a thousand gigameters. So this thing is 10 times more powerful than this. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And because of it, with how powerful it is, it does need to be large. So let's actually extend this thing out. And I did not zoom out far enough. There we go. Most powerful stock antenna. Now our big bad mod antenna, and it is gorgeous. And you guys know me, I'm a sucker for good animation, and I just love how this thing pops in and out. It is very, very cool, very, very smooth, and overall just well done. The modeling is beautiful, the texturing is gorgeous. I especially do love the, each of the individual little dishes here. I could personally, you know, go for a little bit more texturing on the main sort of body bit I think it looks a little bit flat but overall I think the whole thing's great that's just a weird little nitpick on my crazy part but overall beautiful gigantic antenna that as you can see is 2.5 meters in size so this is a very big thing that you're gonna have to spend a lot of time getting into space but it's worth it again 10 times the distance of this 
and that is amazing. So let's actually go to the tracking station and take a look at a little setup I've got in space to uh, further explain it and show it off. Now, of course, if you just sent out one of these JX2 antennas out into the depths of space, it's not gonna do too great because the tracking station Ah, it's not the most wonderful thing in the world, so if you do that with no other relay satellites, you're only going to get about 500 gigameters out, which is half of its range, but that is still pretty darn impressive at 500 G, that's five times the power of the standard stock antenna, but if you do put a JX-2 in orbit around Kerbin here, you can then get your much further distance satellites out even farther. Now this is currently at that halfway point when I was testing it earlier to check out that uh, weird little thing where if we do go fly this, we should have, I think, like 51% or so power. Yes, there we go, 51% signal strength. And as you can see, this thing is friggin' gorgeous. And again, just to show off the animation a bit more smoothly this time, since we are out in the wild now, retract antenna. As you can see, much slower, very beautiful, just pulling everything in. Ah, oh, that is, that is gorgeous and wonderful. Now let's uh, extend this baby back out because, well, I like the look of this thing. It's just gigantic and beautiful. And ah, uh, look at it. It's like a flower opening up. Gorgeous. And yeah, there we go. We have the full one terameter, oh boy, distance now accessible to us because we're at the halfway point and we have 51%. So I'm actually going to change our orbit, not quite to the full one terameter range because that can give a little bit of, uh, it can get a little bit iffy exactly on that. So let's change it to just below that at 999 gigameters. So that's, uh, oh boy, let's see, how many zeros do I need for that? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and apply. There we go. Now, currently we have no signal because probably something's blocking us which with where we're at. Let's actually go radially in to make sure. Aha, there, <laughs> there is our star. And let's uh, adjust our orbit a bit until we actually get a signal when nothing's blocking us. Oh, there we go. We now have 1% signal. <laughs> but that is enough for this probe to now have full control over itself. And if we actually go to the map mode and start zooming out, oh boy, we're going to have to zoom out for a little while just to get an idea. Okay, we are still zooming out, still zooming out. Perfect. That is as far as I can zoom out. And there is our star system. There is ELO, which as I said in the stock game, the best antenna can go ever so slightly past that. That's 113 gigameters, and it can go about 127. So maybe around like right here where my cursor is, is the maximum range of stock. We're at 999 gigameters all the way out here. <laughs> that is a heck of a lot more distance, and we have everything we need to transmit data, control a probe, and that is a gorgeous, gorgeous thing, and without having to unbalance the stock parts, because that is one of the current sort of workarounds. If you do download the Outer Planets mod, besides adding more planets, it also does change the stock antennae to be four times more powerful and the tracking station to add an even bigger boost, which I mean is a decent enough workaround, but the problem is it then makes all of those communication parts a lot more overpowered for when you're in the inner solar system. So if you're going to like Duna, you could probably get away with just using a basic communitron, which really should only be for orbit, orbit around your main planet. And that just feels awkward. Now this, on the other hand, if you do have the Outer Planets mod installed, when you install this, it will undo those current boosts 
to the antennas and the tracking stations, making this your deep space antenna and all those other ones geared to what they were designed to do in the first place. And I love that. I think it's a very good balancing point. And like I said, if you do install other star system mods or other planet mods that add even further things out, this is a necessity. Now, you still may have to build a relay of several of them to reach another star system, but you may only need five of them as compared to, oh, I don't know, 50 of them that you might need if you were just using stock parts. And that, again, is a glorious, glorious thing. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, and I would definitely suggest that you go and do that, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. Go have fun with it. It is pretty awesome and uh, just gorgeous looking. I really, really do love the look of this antenna. It is just simply amazing. And even if it was half the power, I'd still love it for getting me to all of those distant planets I love to visit. So definitely go check it out. Have fun. That's going to be it for this episode, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, they do come back for the next when we'll be looking at yet hopefully another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one!